Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Don't Be So Negative by Toyer. So we have normal 6x6 Sudoku rules in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box. We are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have uh, Kropke dots, these black dots only. So uh, digits separated by a black dot have a 1 to 2 ratio, meaning 1 is exactly double the other. So if I put a 2 here, this could be 1 because 2 is double 1. Or it could be 4, because 4 is double 2. Um, additionally, we have a negative constraint. All the dots are given. All possible dots are given. So we couldn't do 2, 4 here. Because if, there, if this was 2, 4, we'd have a dot. If this was 1, 2, forget, ignore that one. If this was 1, 2, we'd have a dot. Right? That's not allowed. Um, so yeah, that's it. That, that's true of all dominoes. If this was 2, 4, not allowed. Straight to jail. All right. So those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. All right, I think one easy way to get started is um, to look for fives, because <laughs> fives can't go on black dots. If, if this was a five, this would either be two and a half or 10, neither of which are allowed. So five in this box goes here. Five in this box goes here, or the row, or if the box with pointing, however you want to think about it. Um, five in this box goes up here, so then it goes down here. Um, I guess we have we have a one down here, and we have a three up here. Okay, so so when we have a domino like this, where we know one of them's a three, the other one can't be a six, right? If I were to try to put a six up here, I'd end up with a three next to it, no matter where I put it. If I put a six here, I end up with a three next to it. So these can't be six. That means the six is down here and the six is over here. No, this can't be six because it's next to a three and it would put another three there. Um, these can't be two, so two is up here somewhere, which means two is down here. Um, all right, I'm gonna look at these black dots because they see each other. So basically the sort of two groupings you can put on black dots are one, two, four, and three, six. The one, two, four is always going to use the two, so you can't put two of them, right? So, and there's only three of the three digits anyway. So one of them is going to use the two for sure, and then one or four, and the other one's going to be three, six. So this is never two, three, or six. So it's one, can't be two, can't be three, could be four and five, can't be six. That's not a one because of that one. Okay. Oh, this can't be a two because it's next to a one. Um. So we can't put a four in one of these two. I'm not sure how helpful that is. I was thinking about whether we can put a four over here, but I don't see why not. Um, there's a three in this column. So this is from one, two, four, and it definitely has a two on it. Okay, so I was thinking about what this dot could be, and it actually can't be a 3, 6, because if it was a 3, 6, where would we put 6 in this box? We have them cornered here, and the 3, 6 always eliminates 6 from the, the cells next to it, because either it is a 6, which by Sudoku eliminates the 6, or it's a 3, and you can't put a 6 next to a 3. So this can't be 3, 6. So this is also from 1, 2, 4, Ugh. 1, 2, 4, and it definitely has the 2 on it, so that's not a 2, and this needs a 2, so that is a 2. Nice. That's a cool idea. So this is this is from one two four as well, and this has the two on it. So these are these are three five six, but the five has to go in the middle of them. If the five weren't in the middle of them, I'd end up with a three six pair next to each other. So the five has to sort of separate them. Um, it's the chaperone. <laughs> uh, let's see. What can I get out of this? I need a five over here now. Um, oh, this 3, 6 means this can't be a 3, so this is a 3. That means that's not a 6. So 6 in this column has to go here. Nice. This isn't 3, 6 anymore, so it's 1, 2, 4. It definitely has a 2 on it. Um, whether this is 1, 2, or 4, this can't be 2. So that places the 2 in this box. That's not a 2. 1, 4 pair gives us this 2. 
Also, there are other ways you could have gotten that too, but anyway. This is this is also three, five, six. So the five goes in the I, I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Um go five and goes in the middle with the three six. So that places this five as well. This is a one or a four, which must be next to a two. That's not a two, so that is a two. That's not a two, so that is a two. Twos are done. This is a three six pair. We know the order. That makes that a three. Places the six, the six, the three, places this six. What do we need here? We need a four and a five. That's four and five, and this is the one. Just cleans up everything. Uh, this is a four, and then these are, oh, two can't go next to four, so that's five and four, and then these are five and four, nice. All right, cool puzzle, Toyer. Nice use of the negative constraint. I like I like when the negative constraint is actually like part of the solve path and not just an artifact. <laughs> um, very good job on that. Uh, quite enjoyed this puzzle. Um, I liked this idea here, where we limited the six to be up here, and we, the only way we limited that six was by clever use of the the three being limited here. So these couldn't be six. So we had to have a six here, and then this couldn't be three six. That's that's. That's a cool idea. I bet the puzzle is built around that. Um, in fact, it's there right from the start. So if you saw that right from the start, you're you're off to the races right away. That's cool. Um, but yeah, cool, cool puzzle. I enjoyed that. Um, hope you did too. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.